Hi there everybody, my name is Ali and today I will be going to solve SSRF lab number 4 from Web Security Academy and this one is SSRF with blacklist based input filter in which there is some sort of blacklisting going on and what blacklisting means is that there are some sort of keywords, characters, alphabets or whatever it is those characters are actually not allowed okay so we need to bypass that and get SSRF and delete I think so Carlos user so that being said let's jump in now coming over here I am having lab number 4 which is SSRF with blacklist based input filter coming to this lab I can see it says this one and it says this lab has a stock check feature which fetches data from internal system to solve the lab check change the stock check url to access the admin interface add this thing and delete user carlos so the developer has deployed two weak anti-csrf defenses that you will need to bypass so coming to the lab right over here we do have a stock check feature so i will switch on my burp suite and my burp suite is running in the back end so uh, coming down over here i'll click on view details if i come back i can see i should see a request if i am having everything and yes i do have the request over here so now what i will do is i will try to click on check stock and i should see that request over here as well which is post request going to product slash stock so i will send this request to repeater by doing control shift r or i think so i need to do control r and then control shift r so control r will send the request to the repeater control shift r will switch me to the repeater type and then control space to send it and i should see the response which says 909 so right over here if i select this url i can see right over here this is what the decoded uh, url becomes like and this is calling an another domain on port 8080 then these endpoints so one way is that i simply remove this all thing and i try a very basic thing which is http colon slash slash and 127.0.0.1 and hit send and it says blocked for security reasons so again from my previous videos i did some bypasses like uh, one of the bypass which i did was okay one thing i can try is local host blocked so one bypass which i did was 127.1 and this is again the same thing and it did work in my case so again from my previous video i always try these sort of bypasses so it does work sometimes so if i render this one i should see admin panel i believe or let's see what happens so if i see the raw one up till here here you go you can see i can see admin panel and i do have some hotkeys uh, set up over here so i will press ctrl shift c on my keyboard to show response in browser i will copy this and i will come back and i can also see the response in browser so just to make things much more faster if you don't know how to do this thing and here is the admin panel if you don't know how to set up hot hotkeys you can just go to settings you can go to i think so user interface you can go to hotkeys and right over here you can select all of the things which you, you want and you can specify sp shortcut keys so i normally like to use uh, show response in browser with Control shift c so i always do that so when i see the response in browser i can see admin panel over here but if i click admin panel over here it should not return me anything because it says it should be logged in with the loop ad loop back address and not over here so now our task is to delete the carlos user so that is on admin endpoint so slash admin send and oh we do have a bypass filter over here as well so admin endpoint is also not working so the easy way which i normally try in the beginning is doing some camel casing so capital a then small d capital m then capital i and small n like this so let's see what it says and looks like it did work uh, if i do render and there you go so in this case it did work right over here for me so that's the first thing which normally i do and now i can try to do slash i think so or i don't know what it is so if i do control shift c copy and come back over here paste enter 
let's see what is the endpoint to delete so if i hover my mouse over to delete carlos it says slash delete question mark username is equal to carlos at the bottom so i will now simply do delete question mark username is equal to carlos send and it says freezer to found follow redirection and we should have solved the lab over here so if i come back and there you go it says congratulations you have solved the lab so right over here if i do a few more things because normally that's not how i go on let's say if this one is also blocked so what i would do so right here i can see the admin panel over here uh, if i can send render and there is an admin panel so let's say if admin is getting blocked i tried with camel casing doing some capital and small letters but if that is also not working so the other thing which i always do is doing some different sort of encoding so url encoding some different characters so i can try to pick a character and i can try to do let's say url encode this one so to do that url encoding i normally do convert selection url url encode all characters and submit and it's now percentage 61 and then so if i click send now let's see what happens again i am getting blocked so i will now try to again select this part all percentage 61 convert selection url url encode all characters and now it uh, i am now doing double url encoding so submit now and it is getting blocked here as well so that's the second thing which normally i do and if it doesn't work then i normally try to do uh, let's say a and i will url encode again and control u again to do double url encode doesn't work one more time doesn't work few more times and i'll keep trying until and unless i get a success so i think so to solve these labs there are some problems over here but what i figured out was it did work for me so what i will do coming back over here to the home page if i go to view details it did work for me when i was trying it so just looking at that one so post request is this one send this request to repeater send now remove this thing http colon slash slash 127.1 .1. this is the first bypass the other bypass which i was trying was this one blocked so if i do remove this a or let's select this a over here right click convert selection url encode all characters send doesn't work then again convert selection url encode all characters send and there you go this time it worked i don't know what happened it was previous time so there you go i can see over here and now i can simply do slash delete a question mark username is equal to carlos but because i already have done that one it will not work so i need to do another user over here which is vayner so this one and that user is gone as well so that was all about this basic bypasses right over here the first bypass was simply doing 127.1 and the other one was either camel casing or you can do url encoding or double url encoding and these sort of things and sometimes these can work on real world platform as well and you can get some sort of bounty as well so that was all about this video i hope you will like it and i will see you in the next video take care bye